Hello guys, welcome to another section of the A2 Library tutorial series. Um, this tutorial is going to focus on how you can use um, ChatGPT or any generative AI tool to correct some comments in your project work. Uh, so what I'm trying to say is that, let's look at this. So this is an abstract of a particular project work. And you realize that the comments um, is saying that I think the abstract can be expanded. So let me zoom this. Yeah. So let's say I am the supervisor and I'm saying that, see, the abstract can be expanded. And um, how can you use artificial intelligence to expand this section? This is like we get comments from our supervisors and we are like, ah, how am I going to do this? Okay, this is ethical way of using AI to correct comments from your supervisors. Erica, purely Erica. You are not going to push or um, uh, get some information from other places. Now you know that um, abstract is mostly derived from um, some aspect of your chapter one. That is your um, what your study sought to look into. That is, let's say your problem statement, or you want to capture some aspect of your uh, objective, then you jump into your chapter three, that is um, the methodology that you use, your sample size, your population, your um, instrument that you use in collection of data, your like, yeah, sampling technique. You, you want to capture all these things in your um, abstract. And um, you also jump into chapter four, you want to, capture some of the analysis all straight to chapter five. So we have certain elements in um, chapter five that consist of your um, summary, recommendations, conclusions. So what I'm trying to say is that we have some sections in the project work that you would like to capture in your uh, abstract. So you uh, the abstract is not just created like that. Um, whatever you have in your abstract can be traced in your document. And how can you expand this? You realize that um, the supervisor is asking the student to expand the abstract that he or she sent to the supervisor. Okay, all right. So first of all, just copy that section that you are going to work on. So this is a section that I'm going to work on. That is the abstract. It has already been copied. Okay, so when you copy that, you paste it right here. But you don't just paste it right here. Let me just explain something to you. So I said earlier on that abstract, consists of some sections of your project work. So let's say, yeah, you have done something as has been done over here. And uh, you went through the document and you are like, okay, I made some elements in chapter three. I made some elements in chapter four. I made some elements in chapter five. Hi, do you know what you are supposed to do? Just uh, put all those sections together. So the section that you want to be featured in the abstract, or you want to pick some information from that particular chapter into the abstract, just put it into a PDF format, like what I have done over here. Let me show you this file. All right, so when you open this particular file, um, I captured from chapter three to that of what? Chapter five, because chapter three consists of the student research methodology, chapter four, that is data analysis, chapter five, that is your Conclusion, recommendations, summary of findings. So I am presuming that the student would like to add some elements from these chapters as a way of expanding um, what he or she is having currently. So now if you have the if you have your chapter in the PDF format like this, what you are supposed to do is just to drop this file. Okay. So I'm dropping the file. All right, the file is dropped. Now I've copied my abstracts. Let me just paste it. Okay, now you realize that I have this information over here. I'm telling the AI that first of all, the AI should study the above document. Yeah, so study the above document and expand. Expand what? Expand the abstract below. Okay, so I have the abstract here. And the abstract is placed in what? Double what? Quotation. Now, I'm not saying that I'm come to generate 
a new abstract. The supervisor was not um, dissatisfied with the abstract that I provided. But right now, the supervisor is saying that, hey, just expand your abstract. So I'm not going to generate a new abstract, but rather the AI should look into what I have already and um, pick some element or whatever uh, we have in the chapter three to the chapter five and add it to the word abstract. Okay, good. Now, with the information provided, we just go ahead and click on this to see what we have over here. All right, so now we have expanded what abstracts. Exactly. So there was a cross sectional survey that I used 300, that, and this, and this, and that. You get it? So this is an expanded version of what we have over here. You can do more. You can also pick a particular section and just let the AI to hammer on that particular section to expand only that section as a way of adding it to your word abstract. So, guys, thank you for watching this section of the HLIB tutorial series brought to you by Obed, AI Prompt Engineer. And always remember to subscribe to the channel and click on notification so that anytime I push in a new video, you get the alert. Thank you. Bye.